Okay, so factor by grouping. Um, in the general approach to factoring, which you always see what you can divide out, and then you count the terms, there's three types of situations that we're learning to factor. Binomials, which is fact a difference of two squares. Trinomials, which is regular ABC factoring. And a quadnomial, which has four pieces. And this is where factor by grouping fits into our algorithm. It is how you factor something with four terms. So we're going to fill in an example after we do the notes when uh, after we've learned this. But it, it's our it's our third situation here. OK, so factor by grouping. OK, Roman numeral one. Factor out binomial pairs. So one of the things that they do on your homework is they do half of the factor by grouping and they want you to finish it. And then on the other side, they do the whole factor by grouping and you do it from the beginning. So this is where it's half done. And basically factor by grouping, let me do an example that you wouldn't do with factor by grouping. Let's say you've got eight X, Y, minus two X, Y. So you already know how to do something like this. You would divide out what the two factors have in common and it would go to the front. So you might take out a two, you might take out an X, you might take out a Y. It would go to the front and you would be left with four minus one because you take the two out of the eight, the X and the Y would cancel and you would just simply divide it to the front. Now that's something that you do already. That's factoring out a monomial. Okay, so these look a little bit different. You're gonna have x times two x plus one in parentheses, minus four times two x plus one. So just like in the first example where you're gonna divide out what they have in common, on this one you're also gonna divide out what they have in common. So you have basically, one term multiplied together there, and one term multiplied together there. So if you put the whole thing in parentheses, what they both have in common is a 2x plus 1 factor. So just like when you divide out a monomial, you're going to divide out the 2x plus 1. It goes to the front. And then what's left is an X in the first term minus four in the second term. So you're still dividing out. You're just dividing out a binomial instead of a monomial. That's factor by grouping. Pretty simple, huh? It's not, not super complicated. Okay, let's do one more of these and then we'll do the whole process. So example three, you've got 3x times 9 minus y plus 4 times 9 minus y. And again, you ultimately have one term plus another term. And the factor that they have in common is a 9 minus y binomial. So you're going to divide that out. The 9 minus y goes to the front, and what you're left with is 3x plus 4. All right, Roman numeral 2, we're going to do factor by grouping the whole process, factor by grouping. So example one, uh, 10D minus 2DN squared plus 5 minus N squared. All right, so the first thing you do when you factor by grouping is the first thing you always do. See if there's anything you can divide out. Well, there's nothing that these have in common, so nothing's going to divide out. Okay, the second thing you do is you group your pairs. So I've got one pair, I've got two pairs. That's why it's factor by grouping. 
And then from each pair, you divide out what the two terms have in common. So between a 10 and a two, both of these have a two, both of these have a D. So your two D goes to the front and two goes into 10 five times. The D's cancel, so all you have is a five minus the twos cancel, the d's cancel, and all you have left is an n squared. Now in this pair, they don't have anything in common, so it's just like taking a one out. So you just put in a one placeholder because they don't have anything in common. Okay, so now they both have a five minus n squared. So we're gonna divide both of them by five minus n squared. The five minus n squared goes to the front and I'm left with two D plus one. And the one is because the five minus n squared divided into itself one time. All right, let's do another one. Example two, uh, 3x minus yx minus 12 plus 4y. Most of the time when you try this process, you group them two and two the way they are. But the fact of the matter is you can put them in any order you want. So if, if you're grouping them two and two and nothing is coming out, you might want to reorder them and try again with different pairs. Um, there's, two, there's two ways this can go. So let's divide out what they have in common. The first one, first pair, they both have an X. So X goes to the front and I've got three minus Y. Okay, the second pair, they both have a four in common. So um, I'm gonna bring a four to the front, plus four, just put the plus in there. And I've got negative three plus y. So if you divide a positive number out of them, then it's a plus four, because you've divided out a positive four. Now, this happens sometimes where you've got a three and a y, but on this one, the three is positive, the y is negative, and on this one, the three is negative, the y is positive. So they're very similar to each other, it's just they differ by a negative. So the way you fix that is you're gonna take a negative out of those two to make the sign change. So you divide a negative one out of those two, and then the negative one goes to the front, where it gets multiplied by the negative by the four. And what you're left with is three minus y. So if I simplify this little pair out here, it's minus four times three minus y. So you can divide a negative number out of the binomial if it makes what's left match. Now that's what left matches, we can divide out a three minus y out of both. The three minus y goes to the front and I'm left with x minus four. So that's how you handle if they're almost the same, but they differ by a negative, you wanna divide a negative out. Um, all right, that is the end of the notes. Are there any questions about factor by group?